Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 13. And in this lesson, the students are gonna be using multiplication to express equivalent measurements. So let's get started. So what does that mean? So the idea is right here, in fact, I can use this. They've kind of nicely given us an example right here to convert weeks to days. So the idea is you've got six weeks, so that's really six copies of one week, and then one week is really seven days, and then six times seven days is 42 days. So there's your, our game plan, and we're gonna apply that game plan over here to converting years into days. So seven years, that's, <coughs> oops, uh, there. That's seven copies of one year. And remember, because we want to convert years into days, we could say, well, one year is equal to 365 days. So that really means we have seven copies of 365 days seven copies of 365 days. So now we need to actually do the multiplication because we have seven copies of 365 days. So now we need to do, oh my goodness, 365 times seven. So let's see, that's 35 and then six times seven is 42 plus three is 45. Carry the four tens or actually in that case it's four hundreds. Um, and then seven times three, or three hundreds, is 21, plus four is 25. And so our answer is 2,555 days. And that actually makes sense, because if you think about it, uh, 365 is pretty close to 400, and 400 times seven is 2,800. So my estimation, my answer, using estimation, my answer is probably correct. All right, so let's do a little bit of practice. So first one is we're going to convert kilograms to grams. So we've got 3.09 kilograms, 3.09 kilograms. So that's really 3.09 copies of one kilogram. All right, and then, but what is one kilogram? Well, one kilogram is a thousand grams. And then, now we can use multiplication to multiply these two guys because 3.09 copies of a thousand grams. So we're going to multiply, but we know the trick like that that pattern when multiplying by a thousand our digits are going to move three columns to the left which means the decimal is going to look like it's going to move three columns to the right and so we end up with whoa I need a pen three zero nine zero grams three thousand ninety grams all right so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna shrink it down and now let's take a look at this one. So converting yards to inches. So we've got 245 yards, 245 yards. So that's really 245 copies of one yard. And then, so that's really 245 copies of, now it says inches. So one yard, we need to change into inches, so that is 36 inches. So now we end up having 245 copies of 36 inches. So we're gonna go over here on scratch paper and we're gonna do 245 times 36. And so let's see, that's gonna be 30, 24, 27, uh, 12 plus two is 14. Put that zero down because now we're multiplying by tens. So that's going to be 15 carry the one. That's 12 plus one is 13 carry the one. So 
3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so we're going to add, we get, oh my goodness, we get 8820, so that's 8,820 inches. Now, does that really make sense? Well, let's take a look. I mean, if you think about it, you could say 36, that's pretty close to 40. And you can say that 245 is a little closer to 200 than 300. And I can see that 40 times 200 is 8,000. So my answer is probably correct based on my estimation. So there we go. There is that solution. So this is more of the same. The only difference is they want us to, us to summarize with a concluding sentence. So we've got a newborn giraffe weighs about 65 kilograms. How much does it weigh in grams? So we've got 65 kilograms. And 65 kilograms is 65 copies of one kilogram. And now, because it says we want it to, to convert it into grams, so this is really 65 copies of 1,000 grams because one kilogram is equal to 1,000 kilograms. Now, multiplying 65 times 1,000, super easy because we've learned at this point that we can just stick on those three zeros and you get 65,000 grams and that is our answer. Now we want to give it a concluding sentence. So we could say um, one kilogram has a thousand grams, which is this, well, no, no, we could say 25 kilograms is the same as 65,000 grams. So that's our concluding sentence. It's we're going to connect and say that 65 kilograms is the same as 65,000 grams. All right, so more of the same. We've got a pig and that pig weighs 9.8 pounds. So I'm going to use LB and we want to convert that into ounces. So that's really the same thing as 9.8 copies of one pound. And because we want to turn uh, the pounds into ounces, we know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So this is equal to 9.8 copies of 16 ounces. And so now what we need to do is we need to multiply 9.8 times 16. And 9.8 times 16, 9.8 times 16 is equal to uh, 156.8 ounces. And we know that because I multiplied. So 9.8 times 16 is 156.8 ounces. So over here, uh, one last example, kind of tricky only because it's a decimal and it's small, but that's that's okay. It's actually pretty darn easy. So um, a marker is 0 0.13 meters long. So there is our initial measurement, 0 0.13 meters. And we want to convert it into millimeters. So this is really 0 0.13 copies of one meter. And we know that one meter is a thousand millimeters. So this is 0 0.13 times a thousand millimeters. So that's mm, millimeters, and it's all messed up. So then, but when we multiply by a thousand, we know that our digits are going to go three columns to the left because they're getting bigger, which means the decimal is going to go to the right because it's going to look like it's going to the right, but it's really the digits that are moving. And so we end up with 130 millimeters. And in both of these cases, we need to give that concluding sentence. So in this case, we would say that 
0.13 meters is the same as 130 millimeters. And that wraps up fifth grade module two, lesson 13, using multiplication to convert equivalent measurements.